Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the over-the-counter medications for acne, what works and why they work. So today we are going to find out how acne products differ, what are the main ingredients to look for and how to use them for the best results. So as you know, many over-the-counter products are available to treat mild to moderate acne or periodic breakouts which include cleansing lotions, gels, forms, uh, towelettes, uh, leave-on products and sometimes treat sometimes treatment kits. So how do you know which one is best for you? So before you decide, learn how these products work and what ingredients you need to look for. Then you develop and decide a gentle regime to treat and prevent acne for your case. The Food and Drug Administration also warns that some of these popular over-the-counter acne products can cause serious reactions including sore throat, swelling of the face, lip and tongue. But these type of reactions are quite rare. So don't confuse them with the redness and little irritation and itchiness that occur whenever you apply such products. So acne products work in a very different ways depending upon their active ingredients. Some of the acne products work by killing the bacteria that cause the inflammation. Other remove the excess oil from the skin, speed of the growth of the new skin and speed of the removal of the dead skin cells. And many acne products do a combination of all these things. So let's have a look at the common ingredients, active ingredients found in the uh, acne products and how do they work. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So the first product is benzoyl peroxide. This agent actually, this ingredient kills the bacteria that cause acne. It also helps remove the excess oil from the skin and removes the dead skin cells which clog the pores. So over-the-counter benzoyl products are available in various strengths from 2.5% to 10%. So you can start with the lower percentage and slowly build up to whatever works best for you. The possible side effects of these products include dry skin, scaling of skins, redness, burning, even stinging, especially if you have a sensitive skin. So be careful when applying benzoyl peroxide and also make a note that it can bleach your hairs as well as your clothing. So the second ingredient is salicylic acid. This ingredient helps prevent the pores from becoming plugged. Salicylic acid is basically an exfoliating agent. This comes in any, anywhere from a strength of 0.5% to 5% in an over-the-counter product. You might find even more concentrated salicylic acid products but don't use them. They are very harmful because there is there can be many potential side effects like stinging, skin irritations and even burns because of higher concentrations of salicylic acid. So salicylic acid just prevents plogging of the pores. Do not do anything to the bacteria. Then the third agent is alpha hydroxy acids. There are two types of alpha hydroxy acids that are used in non prescription acne products and these are glycolic acids and lactic acids. And both of these are synthetic versions of acids derived from sugar containing fruits. So these lactic acids and glycolic acid treat acne by, by helping to remove the dead skin cells and reduce inflammation. They also stimulate new growth of skin cells, new growth of new and smoother skin. So this helps improve the appearance of the acne scars and give the impression of smaller pores. Then the fourth product is sulfur. Sulfur removes the dead skin cells that clog the pores and helps remove excess oil. So it removes the excess oil and it is often combined with other ingredients like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide or resorcinol. 
products containing sulfur may cause dry skin so remember that and some products may even have an unpleasant odor so dry skin because of any reason can actually stimulate more oil production so remember don't let your skin too dry the acne product that's best for you depends upon many factors including your skin type uh, the type and severity of your acne and your skincare preferences so let me give you a general idea how you can begin using these acne products first is begin with a benzoyl peroxide if you're not sure which acne product to use start with benzoyl peroxide it is very effective well tolerated by most people it gives a few give it a few days before expecting to see results check the labels don't forget to check the labels for the type and amount of active ingredient stronger isn't always better with benzoyl peroxide in some case 2.5 percent product works as well as those with stronger concentrations and with a fewer side effects so first start with the smaller version then you start increasing it if you don't see results the second principle is to start with the lower strength acne product this can minimize the redness dry skin and this other skin problems then if you don't see results then over several weeks slowly increase the strength of the product and how often you use it this helps your skin to adjust with the treatment gradually then third point is use the product with different active ingredients to treat stubborn acne acne ingredients work in a different way we already seen so you may find it helpful to use a varying product of ingredient to treat these kind of stubborn acne which don't go away easily so apply one product in the morning and a different product in the night to prevent skin irritation so different products don't use them together one in the morning second in the night be patient treating acne with any acne product takes time and patient it takes two or three months of daily use for an acne product to show results and acne may look worse acne may sometimes look worse before it gets better and this happened so be patient then experiment a little with what works for you you may need to try different products varying ingredients before you find what works best for you always remember acne products are just one step in your skincare routine they are not the sole solution the other things which you need to keep in mind is wash wash the problem areas twice daily with with a gentle non-drying cleanser and don't overdo it excessive washing and scrubbing can even worsen acne scrub that dissolves during washing are the least abrasive avoid scrubs with uh, ground fruit pits or aluminium oxide they are more abrasive and will not actually help they will stimulate more oil production then try cleansing cloths or towelettes these are gentle alternatives to cleansers and washes cloths with an open weave are good for dry and sensitive skin cloths with a tighter weave are better at removing dead skin cells you can consider pores clearing adhesive pads these products are intended to remove all the dirt oil and plugs from the pores you can apply the strip to the wet skin let it dry and then peel it off but don't use them more than once every three days don't use too much just apply enough acne product to cover the problem area and apply it just after cleansing the skin sometimes some cloth and towelettes come with benzoyl peroxide and other active ingredients in them so you don't need to apply more products with these active ingredients after cleansing then use an oil free water based moisturizer moisturizer should be oil free or water based and this helps in elevating dry and peeling skin avoid all oil based cosmetic sunscreens and hair products use products which are labeled water based or non comedogenic don't panic or squeeze don't squeeze blemishes infections or scarring will happen if you do that keep a watch on what touches your face
keep your hairs clean and off your face avoid resting your hands or your phone against the side of your face keep it little away don't touch your face with the phone this is also bad for your acne if your acne doesn't improve after 2 to 3 months of these all these home treatments consider seeing your doctor a skin specialist or a dermatologist not anybody else we've seen the treatments which they can do already in other videos don't forget to check out other videos about acne there is a whole playlist on acne and uh, uh, i'm going to discuss further things about about which products can be used if you're pregnant and you have acne in the next video so don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and those who don't know me i'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in yashoda super specialty hospital nirmagar ghaziabad delhi and cr and this is my channel i'm dr paramjeet and channel is dr education don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon all these videos are basically reference from the internationally accepted us national medical library and this knowledge is not my opinion is an internationally accepted most recent most latest knowledge about the about the problem so you can actually trust this information and most of my and all of my videos are based on such knowledge so go out there check out my channel browse for your favorite topic and have the most latest and most authentic knowledge at your disposal so feel free to write your comments to me how you feel about this channel any suggestions any uh new videos which you want me to wake and till next time i'm dr paramjeet and you're watching doctor education stay connected stay healthy